Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we have a simple one here today. It's brake pads on a BMW 3 Series 2022. So the first thing obviously is just take off the wheel bolts here. Now the bolts are off, we just pull the wheel off and we have the brake caliper there. So just in at the back of the caliper there, same as normal. A couple of bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. These are 14 millimeters. Most cars use 13 millimeter. This is 14. So we're just going to break those loose. And once that's loose, you should just be able to do it by hand. It's quite a new car, so nothing's going to be rusted or seized. Get that bolt out. And then the same on the bottom down here, we just open that bolt out as well. That's bolt number two. Now we come inside the car. It's done just around 20,000 miles. And we plug in our diagnostic computer here into the OBD port. Get that ready. And we're just going to switch the ignition on. Then we'll release the parking brake. And this car seems to be playing games with me, so let's just try and start the car up. Yep, handbrake's released. Now we can switch the engine back off. Turn the ignition back on if we can. Now I'm going to connect up my computer here. This is the launch uh, Euro Tab 2 there. So there will be two ways of actually doing this, going in through the local diagnose or doing it through a service function. So I'm still getting the hang of this computer. It's quite new to me. Um, we are looking for the brakes. And that will be just here, brake reset. Brake pad replacement, yes. So I figured out how to actually get the proper ignition on. It's a one, two, three on the start button. So we're just waiting for this to connect. Hopefully it will. It's quite a new car, so hopefully the software is in there. Now, this car has been to, he said he's called the BMW garage. They can't get him in for six weeks to change the brakes. And he's tried a few garages and apparently everyone says they don't have the software, but I'm hoping I have. So I think it would be this one. Workshop mode. <coughs> so you can have a reader out there. So once you've read all that there, now we can go ahead and press F1 to activate the workshop mode. Release of the mechanical brake can be proceeds acoustically. So we should be able to hear it basically it's saying. So we can hear the motor rewinding or retracting. Now I can just get a little pry bar in between the brake pad and the caliper there. Just round about there. And just give it a squeeze so she's pushed all the way in all the way back until it stops now we're just going to pull out the uh, brake sensor wire from the box here feed it all the way along press that tab and just pull it apart now we can get that cable out just pull it around the back take it off of the hook stair where it's onto just leave my little box there to rest the caliper on. Then we can just get our fingers in behind the pad there. Just pull these off. And again there, just pull off the shims. Top and the bottom there. Now just clean up all the dust. Bit of brake cleaner. Around everywhere. Got a new set of shims. And just push those into place. Make sure they're pushed down nicely. So we've got a new set of brake pads here. These are customer supplied. It's not a brand that I use. Um, we have two different types of pads. This one goes in the back. So your piston sits right there directly in the middle. Just like that. And this one sits on the outside. And then it's just a case of uh, lining up your brake pad there. 
slide it into place, push it on. Now you can ask, do these need grease? But uh, I wouldn't use grease on them. They've got these um, stainless shims, which don't require grease, to slide in and out. One little squeeze of brake cleaner just before we go. Push back in your caliper. Now we just tighten back on the bolts. Now because this is a almost new car, you can see there that the slider is mo moving nice and freely. We don't need to pull them out and grease them. If it's an old car, you'd uh, pull those sliders out and re-grease them before you refit them. Now it's just a case of putting the sensor onto the back brake pad, right there on that little notch there. The little notch that they go into, right there. So we get the new sensor back onto that and plug it back into the box up there. So now we're just going to repeat that step on this side, so we'll skip this bit. Okay, now the brake pads are all done, we just need to press F2 to deactivate the workshop mode. And a fault has occurred because the ignition has gone off while I was in the middle of doing it. So I'll go have to go back in and start that again. And that's now running again. Workshop mode is now deactivated. Now we can press F3 to end. That's it, we are done. So now let's start the car up. We should have the brake warning gone. And I've got an engine oil service required message there. Pedestrian protection, driver assistance. And it's got all sorts of messages there for failures. Strain system. It looks like it's had a maybe a little bit of an accident or something. So that's it. We're all finished on the BMW. Brakes are all fitted. See you next time.